This video is going to show you how to populate the places and events on your Smart Regional website. First you'll need to navigate to where your website is located on its temporary domain. Once this is loaded, click on the sign in option at the top of the page. Your sign in details would have been sent through to you via email. If you are unsure of these, please feel free to send us an email at help at Untangle My Web. Once you have logged in, you'll see it will take you to a dashboard page. This is where you can see an overall summary of your submissions and favourites that you have. To add a new place to any particular town, first select which city you would like it to go into. Once you have selected your city, you can click on either Add Place or Add Event. Once the page has loaded, you'll see there's very clear step-by-step -step instructions to move down the page, completing each field as you go. You'll also see at the top of the page the stages at which the listing is going through. The first thing you'll see is that Select City has already been chosen for you and you can then select what category the listing is going into. For my example today, I'm going to use the Coal and Cattle Hotel Motel in Maura. First thing I'm going to do is to select which categories this falls into. For the listing title, I'm going to use the name of the business. The address I've taken from the Google Places listing. And you'll see once I've clicked on set address on map, it'll place the marker. If the marker is incorrect, you can also drag and drop. What you can see is this is also automatically added the latitude and longitude. Next is the listing description. So this is where the business owner will be able to provide what their ideal description of their business will be and you can enter the details like you would in a word using bullet points, numberings or quotations. I'm going to use this review as the example. And give you An example of some format. Actually, we might say genuine. You can also add a shortened excerpt. You can choose a Google Map view. We recommend keeping it on default. Let users change it over if they would like to. And you can also add special offers. I'm just making this one up. So this will show in a highlighted area of the listing. The details underneath the specials will all be consolidated into the right hand column of the display. What you can see is that all fields are required except for Twitter and Facebook. If the business does not have a specific email address, it may be best to add the contact details of the town representative or something similar. 
from here you'll be asked to upload images for the site. You can upload multiple images to create a gallery within the listing or you can just have a singular image. WordPress has a functionality where it will automatically crop images to the right size for you. This is based around 600 pixels wide by 400 high. We recommend that you try and prepare your images as best you can to fit within this area as if it does do automatic cropping it may not be showing exactly what you would like it to have. The main thing to remember with your images as well is to make sure that these have always been prepared for web. So this means compressing the file from the large image size it would begin with. Once your image has been uploaded, you'll be able to delete it or drag and drop. If there's a video on YouTube available, you can embed the code for that video here. In order to embed a YouTube video, click on the share button, select embed and copy the code. Paste this into the section that says video code. Once you've arrived at the bottom of the listing, you'll need to select the free package and you can use the tick boxes to select whether this will be featured on the home page or feature the listings on the category pages. From here you will then need to click on review your listing which will take you to a preview. So as you can see the image used has been expanded to the size required which is why we recommend having correct size images and you can also see how the special offer is displayed. From here you can click on cancel, you can go back and edit the listing or you can publish. You can click on the blue link here to view the listing. This process is then repeated for every listing that you'd like to add. When you have finished adding the listings you would like, you can simply click on log out at the top. Remember if you get stuck with anything, you can always contact us on help at Untangle My Web.